G'day, it's Pete here, and we're back again for another fun bridge tournament. As usual, I'll show you how to get in, and we'll see who actually did well. So click and get started, then exclusive tournaments, uh, and then view all tournaments and search for bridge vids. So uh, here, what we got? Hart 76 taking out the top spot with plus 31. Dr. Kevin Stewart 76 plus 30, and rounding out the top six, I guess, in equal fourth is Pip Hoop Cylinder and Alpha Master. Congrats to all of you. Let's see what we can actually do. So here we've got a 14 count and it's gone past clubs. So I could make a takeout double. I don't have a shortage in clubs, but I've got all the other criteria and I got a couple of compensating points. So I'll get in there and try and compete. And now I can happily uh, sort of slow down and try and work out where I want to get to. So the opponent stopped in two hearts. He spid a club, they bid a spade, and then they bid a no trump. So uh, two hearts, right. They weren't worried about my takeout double. Um, they have a four, three, one, five. They've got a really nice hand, 16 high card points. Uh, the club suit's running. Um, hearts are breaking for them. Uh, this is pretty ominous all, all up. Um, like let's say I play a heart. It stops them roughing diamonds. It just forces them to play clubs. Uh, that's not too crash hot. Um, yeah, we'll play a heart anyway. Hey, CB Luke, how's it going? Okay, now, nice defense. I, I like my partner continuing diamonds, means my ace is preserved and uh, they all can't easily draw trumps now. So they get one discard. So I've probably got five hearts, three spades, one club, four diamonds, something like that. There's two spades led. They have five, five shape. Okay, so I'm just getting the Ace of Diamonds from here. Not sure there was much more we could have done there. Uh, it feels like they probably just have that. Might lose an imp. Flatboard. Some people got to two spades. Did they just overcall a spade or something? I went. A club and no trump. All right. Anyway, flat board to kick things off, flat 12 count, uh, a proper takeout double this time. Two clubs, don't have anywhere to go. All right, partner's got a real nice hand for us. We've got six clubs to the ace. And I've only got 12, they've got four, so 16. They've got, the opponents have 24 points. And they left us in a nine card bit at the two level. That is so peculiar. Like, why didn't they find two hearts? Uh, anyway, it's five spades on my left and two there. Hearts are probably four, four? Uh, maybe I reckon they're like five with west through with east. East might be a flat hand, but then they didn't bid. Is it like 18 high card points with no club stopper? Maybe like jack third club? 18, 19 balanced with jack third club. And the other hand, like let's say 19, and we give the other hand five points. So they didn't want to do anything with their stiff queen of clubs or something. I can see that. All right. So uh, let's say that uh, West East has like five spades, three hearts. Two diamonds, three clubs. Yeah, maybe. All right. We got something to work with. Can't see any other way that I end up in two clubs on this. King Ace of Diamonds, that could be a doubleton. Uh, there's the King of Hearts. And we'll play a club and show us the Queen. Oh, no. Okay, let's see where we're getting to. Clubs were there. Um, at this stage, uh, um, <laughs> I, I probably could, like, I was so hopeful that uh, I could. 
I, I, that the, I could just pick up all the trumps. I didn't consider like maybe I wanted to rough a spade, but anyway, let's take the queen of diamonds. We'll throw a spade away. They do have two there. Um, and heart, there's the jack. Okay, so king, jack of hearts. I'll have the jack of spades maybe as well. All right, so we get there. And they can have a spade. Now they overtake, they draw my trump. And uh, I get a spade. Making two, that's cool. I think the play on that was relatively simple, but uh, I think one minor sec on trick five, you potentially lost a trick rather than leading a side up. Yeah, yeah. Touched on that. Um, but I reckon this is like such a cool hand for uh, sort of card reading. What was it? Five points with East, the five, three, two, three. I, I managed to nail the shape and the point count here, 19 and five, just on a simple auction like this, where it went one spade, take out double pass, two clubs or pass. And this just came down to, I have a nine card fit and I've got 24 high card points. How could they possibly let me be here? And the reason for this is West is a bit stuck. Do they really want to bid two no trumps? Like you can, but it's rather committal. Um, and if your partner can't make it take out double or something, then yeah. Now I probably would like two clubs, pass, pass, make it take out double with this hand. But yeah, like when something unusual happens, I really like to try and place people for a hand. Like, so if you start off with going, well, West probably is pretty weak and uh, has like five points, otherwise they didn't bid, that gives the other hand 19. And then why didn't the strong hand bid again? Well, they probably have length in clubs, so now they're starting to really look like 18, 19 balanced. Didn't help too much. I probably could have played the hand better, but super cool one anyway. I reckon that's like really, really interesting to kick things off. Um, much more interesting than the first hand. 19 balanced, four, five, two, two. I have an overwhelming urge to open two no trumps. I'll do it. Transfer, okay. I don't want to super accept, what's... I can, uh, like, I can super accept and it shows length. So like four clubs would be four, four card suits. This isn't how I usually play it. Now I could show like, hey, I've got a four card support and I've got a heart suit. This would get my partner playing, which is the uh, weak hand. Could be okay, my hand doesn't have that much lead protection value, but we'll go ahead and uh, do that anyway. I kind of want to bid four diamonds cubid, but it's not, but maybe I can bid four hearts. How is four hearts exactly five hearts and not guarantee a spade fit? That is just <laughs> annoying. Like, we are so fortunate we didn't miss a slam here. Like, I really wanted some way to be able to show my hand as like, hey, I've got a really good hand for you. And my partner's got 10 points. Um, and we've got like five spades, five hearts, two diamonds. I'll be able to pitch my clubs. Fortunately, we're off the ace king of clubs. And uh, maybe if we bid slam, uh, they take them, but. Uh, like, if you swap the king of diamonds with the king of clubs, I would really want to be in slam in this hand. We're just like super lucky that uh, it's not the case. I uh, just assumed that spades broke. I didn't actually pay attention, but um, here all the hearts are good and we can um, cross rough from here. Um, There is one very fringe chance of a beer card here, which is uh, if someone's got Queen Jack Eight of Diamonds. No, okay, so. Um, but if it was Queen Jack Eight of Diamonds, it could be Ace of Diamonds, Diamond to the King, Ten of Diamonds rough, my seven would have been high. Um, but we'll just uh, 
Wait, no. Uh, Funbridge is restarting the servers. They love restarting their servers during my, um, my uh, sessions. Maybe I have to choose a different time. Anyway, we've got 15 highs, a diamond, two clubs. We'll bid fourth suit forcing. Uh, they don't have a fit, so let's go to three no trumps. Okay, so we're in three no trumps. I got two spades, a heart after the lead, two clubs, two diamonds. Um, so it looks like I want to take a diamond finesse and see if that works. Uh, but I could potentially be getting... So if I take a finesse and it loses, I might lose the first five trick, uh, five tricks. So I could lose four hearts, not immediately, and like the diamond finesse that I lose. I could also potentially make if spades a 3-3 three, three with the queen on side. So the real question is, is it worth trying to combine my chances? So uh, one thing that you could consider doing is taking like the ace, king of diamonds and seeing if the queen falls. If it does, great, we've got five diamond tricks. And if it doesn't, then we can try the spade finesse and see if spades are 3-3 three, three with the queen on side. Now, 3-3 three, three with the queen on side. What sort of odds is that? Um, I feel like 3-3 three, three breaks are, you know, 30% of the time or something, 40% of the time. And queen on side would halve that. So let's say like 15 to 20, and then the queen dropping happens something like 40% of the time. Might be better than a finesse. Um, one of the issues is that the heart could just be 4-4. Four, four. So if I knew how hearts were breaking, then maybe it would be all right. I could also do something super weird and just exit a heart. I'd get to find out how hearts are breaking. And then if hearts are 4-4, four, four, I've got ample time to just set up the diamonds afterwards. If they're not, then... I can maybe try and combine my chances. I think I like that. Let's just exit a heart. I want to find out how hearts are breaking, so we'll just play hearts. Right. That is surprisingly promising. Okay. Uh, I don't need... All the spades. There's a diamond. I'm in three no trouble. Like what happened there? Okay. Uh, it looks like diamonds are probably four one. Uh, in which case, I think I can afford a diamond discard. Um, I don't need all of my spades, so. Was I just doomed? Queen of Clubs fell. I lost an imp. 21 people didn't make it. On trick eight, you lost one potential trick by playing the five of clubs. It would have been preferable to Play one of these, the jack, six, ace, or king. A little layout. It was doubleton queen. <laughs> okay. What, what I was actually suggesting. So uh, let's get to... We're in the ballpark to make. They play a heart up.
Pitch a diamond, yeah. Okay, so... Right, so at this stage, I continued the King of Spades and threw the Five of Clubs. But, <laughs> all right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so I'll just replay uh, uh, what I did. Um, so here we win, and we're like, hey, let's uh, find out how the hearts are breaking. Hopefully they're not just, you know, six two and then here this really looks like diamonds are four one and then we have a discard here and like go one club and we see that hearts were five um, whatever and i let go of spade don't need all of my spades and here they uh, continue a spade i win and uh, at this stage, I continued the ace of spades. And ace is down to a singleton queen of clubs at this moment, but like, that's not realistic. So we could ditch there. And if we knew what was happening, uh, like the queen of clubs dropping is just like, we could play here and play a um, club to the ace, club to the jack, and we're all good. Alternatively, it was suggesting we could throw the king, ace or king of clubs away. And when you play a club and save the jack of diamonds, which is a loser, but if you played a club to the ace, dropping the singleton queen, then back to your jack, ace gets squeezed in spades and diamonds. Um, so uh, that's what a, one of the suggestions it was actually making there. Um, but another interesting hand, but... Uh, I didn't look for clues of like West didn't bid. <laughs> so I was pretty sure that diamonds were four one. We knew that West had ace queen jack of hearts. That's seven. And just in the bidding, pass a diamond, pass a spade. That, that like they wouldn't be over calling very much there anyway. But I did think that they had two spades and one diamond. Um, yeah. Uh, could you have cashed one club earlier instead of playing heart? Yeah, I think so. Um, but as you saw, my discards seemed pretty tricky anyway. Um, I play one club earlier, I think they do get squeezed much more obviously so definitely reasonable but my initial plan was to try and work out whether i should play on spades or diamonds the squeeze on this hand was like so far removed from what i was actually uh, considering there um but i felt like well, i was getting close to that almost uh almost was good enough okay uh 13 points my partner opens so start with statement opens a no trump we have spades. So here, if you bid the other major, this is usually uh, like a slam try. So here, my hand's really good. Um, Q bid from my partner. That's great news. Um, let's just Q bid. And I've got uh, control and hearts. So I'm just going to key card and bid slam. Uh, they do have, we're missing one key card, but sure. Queen, Jack, 10, 9 to 7. Not ideal king queen of spades is good okay uh so what options do i have on this one i could play like ace of hearts heart to the king rough a heart king of clubs club to the ace rough a club no that's not good enough i need another one so i think i do need to set up the diamonds and we might need a couple of roughs. So I'm just gonna win and lead a diamond here. It's very hard for West not to take the ace if they have it. And worth noting, my diamonds are solid with that eight. So let's just preserve that. And hopefully they don't give their partner a spade rough. Okay. 
So the next question is, do I want to um, take the roughing finesse in diamonds? I think I want to at least rough King of Clubs, rough a diamond, ace of spades, spade. Uh, no, I think I want to draw some trumps first. Um, play spade to the king. Okay. Um, can I see anything better than taking the roughing finesse and diamonds? Ooh. So, like, I could play, like, a club to the king, or even a heart to the ace, rough one, play the other one over, then take the roughing finesse. It's bad if diamonds are 5-2, but if diamonds... Uh, the, it's bad if diamonds are 5-2 and the king doesn't fall. If diamonds are 4-3... I, I think the roughing finesse is the way to go. Diamond. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Ace of hearts. Let's see it. Watch them uh, concede every single turn. Gotta play it out though. I wish they had like uh, in the rules that if you've got the beer card, it doesn't auto concede. But uh, we bit a slam and we get the beer card. Yeah, another beer card. I've been going well on these, getting one a tournament so far. So 13 imps and uh, no mistakes. No, well done. Perfect card play. Awesome. And uh, a handy 13 imps. We're up to plus 17. Uh, one club. There's like another interesting bidding problem. Like, do I want a bit of spade? Do I want a double? Do I want a bit of no trump? I've been leaning towards trying these no trumps. Let's carry it out and see where we get to. So, um, one no, three no. We don't have a spade fit, which is promising. Partner's got nine points opposite my 15. He did open a club, which means those clubs are going to be hard for us to get going. But nine opposite 15 is uh, 24, 16 missing. West has some points. Um, do I want to finesse the diamond straight up? I think it's okay to do. Um, I basically give up an entry to... That might be my last entry, which is ominous. It's the four, three, two of diamonds missing. It's really hard to gauge what's going on there in diamond. Um, I really want more entries. So well, let's say two clubs, two diamonds. What about if I just win the ace of diamonds um, and lead the jack of spades? It's probably better odds that way. Yeah, like one extra diamond trick and giving up an entry is not particularly promising, so. Get these spades going. That's good news. And I'll just continue another one. And ace. All right. Um, five, two. Here, I think I finesse it, give, ooh, okay. So it gives up my potential entry. I don't need my entry as much anymore, um, but largely that was, even if it lost, I wanted to cut communication there. Okay. So uh, it looks like diamonds are five, three, and West has the queen of diamonds. They may have the queen of hearts. I've lost one trick. I've got still got the ace of spades to lose. I've got the ace of hearts to lose. If east has everything, if I unblock the ace king of clubs, um, then 
what we can actually do is exit a spade. They'll probably win their ace. And they can get the queen of clubs. So take the ace king of clubs. I think that one issue with the ace king of clubs is if spades are four two, they just win, they exit a spade, and I've set up their queen of clubs at the time. Uh, so I think we just set spades up. Ooh, nice. That seems like a really bad play if they had ace queen. Although maybe they have, uh, like why didn't they play a diamond? Even if it gives me my ace there. Should I just duck this? Ducking it's bad if it loses to 10-8 doubleton. Everything else, I think I'm okay. There we go. Wow, they continued it from four. Okay, so I think there's a something that the robots know that I've got five spades. So uh, from that, they assumed I didn't have four hearts and wasn't a complete crazy person. Uh, but we could actually make. Um, they took the ace of clubs. I think they were in uh, some genuine trouble there. Yeah, all right. Not sure I deserved that one, but we got 10 imps. On trick one, you lost a potential trick by playing the king. Could have finessed, so. Uh, game can't make, but uh, how did other people handle this one? A bit of spade and a spade and no trump, two no trumps. Here, if partner bid a no trump, I'd probably just bid three no trumps. It's one of these things that uh, with all the high card points sitting under um, all your values, all your finesses are likely to work. So I think that's like worth a trick. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a cool one for just hiding what my shape was. <laughs> it, it's really hard to gauge how much value there is in not actually revealing what your hand is. But I definitely think that the opponents didn't know where to go. Like they didn't want to give me the ace of diamonds. They didn't want to... Uh, potentially lead a club and get their partner's clubs finessed. And if they think I've got five spades, then exiting a heart there is perfectly safe. It might look like a complete error on their part, but um, I think that's fine. Uh, four, four, three, two, eleven count. They have both mages, but we're vulnerable. I'm just going to pass one club. Uh, here I got, can double to show exactly four hearts and four spades. And partner's got hearts, at least three. I just want to double again, just to say I've got a good hand. I've shown hearts and spades, partner already knows about that. And they're only interested in two hearts. So we stop nice and low, partner has a very mediocre 12 count, but uh, queen doubleton spade, jack doubleton diamond. They got in there, they opened, I like it. Uh, we have two diamond losers. We have two club losers, sorry. We got Which hand do I want to plan from? Might be easier to plan from my hand. Three diamonds, two clubs, and a spade. Can trump a spade, can maybe set up clubs, can trump a diamond. Uh, West has only two diamonds. But, uh, probably be able to get nine tricks somewhat easily. Looks like we can set up the clubs. Okay. And I think I just want to play the queen of clubs here. Okay, and we'll rough thin this hand, and then um, we're all good. I'm gonna even overtake the queen. And I haven't counted, so let's just uh, keep going. There we go. All right, nine tricks. Okay, plus four in, so we're at plus 31. We're in the tie for first. One board to go. Can we do it? All right. Uh, yeah, I'll bid two clubs. This is a good suit. Defending three hearts. Oh. So East has a decent hand with spades and hearts. 
West has a marginal takeout double. What? They didn't bid four hearts? They're crazy. I got 10 high card points with all the points in their partner's suit. Their partner jumped. Yeah, they, they should be bidding four hearts for sure. Okay. Um, do I cash the king of clubs? Do I play a heart? I've got 11 high card points. I've got 10, so there's 19 missing. Um, he says like 16. My partner only has three. If I try and cut down on cross roughs, my partner doesn't have a good enough hand. Let's try cashing the king of clubs. Two roughs. Okay, they are. They might only have four hearts. Okay, uh, as I said, they were um, crazy for not bidding game, and they made slam. Plus two imps. We did it. We took the top spot. Plus 33. Um, on trick two, you lost a potential trick by playing the king of clubs. You should have played the queen of diamonds. <laughs> to be fair, the queen of diamonds did not occur to me as a, a play. Play the queen of diamonds and it cuts out their entries or something. And it's also a spot where they can't do a roughing finesse in diamonds or something strange. But uh, yeah, awesome. Um, I think there was a bunch of cool hands in this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely uh, fortunate. You always need a bit of luck to uh, do well on these. But uh, I'm stoked. Super happy with that. So hope you all enjoyed this week's Funbridge tournament. Uh, if you liked it and want to support me, consider subscribing. It, it's free. It helps me out. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye now.